Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys doing today? Welcome into today's daily reading where we are going to be checking out couples. We're going to be checking out relationships. This reading was requested by Fire Eyes. Hey, thank you so much for requesting this. If you want to request a topic for me to do a reading on, just comment below and let me know and I'm going to give you a shout out. But let's have a look and see in Sagittarius' energy. We're going to get two... Uh, people's energies out and some spirit guide advice as well out at the end of the reading. Let's see what's going on with Sagi's energy. You got an eight of emotions energy in the reverse position um, that tells me that you may walk away from something here. And the seven of materials because you're not feeling st stable in this connection. Um, the eight of cups energy in the reverse position with the seven of pentacles. It tells me that you want to walk away from something. Something here is not making you feel stable whatsoever. You may literally um, be wondering if the relationship that you are in is even worth it anymore. With the seven of materials energy, I feel like you're very worried about stability. Um, the... It's so funny, I love, like I don't usually use this word, like, but the concreteness of the relationship, how strong it is. And um, there's an energy of you, I don't know if you're already detaching yourself from this, honestly, to be true. With you, to be honest, with the eight of uh, cups in being there in the reverse position, it's almost like you're already detaching from the situation. Um, with the seven of materials, this is all about stability. And obviously, because it's in a stable, you're in a stable relationship. Your person's got the magician energy coming up here. Let's see. This can even be reversed, by the way, Sagi. I'm just saying, this can be somebody that's walking away from you. Um, and this can be your energy on this side. Because it's general, you can reverse these energies. Um, two major arcanas has come up here. Uh, if this is in your energy, somebody here is, or it's in your person's energy as well. Somebody wants to make this work, but they don't know if it's, if it's going to happen. Um, with the magician energy being there, uh, they kind of like feel like they want to try to make this work, but they're trying to manifest this into, into reality. They're trying to put the effort in. They're trying to create this into their world. They want to make it happen. There you go. The magician energy. But they also don't know. This can even be you. I keep on picking up. It could be for some of you guys, it's you. Um, if it's your person, um, they also don't know if you have already exited. There's a doubt within them with the moon card, which is the Pisces card as well. It's like they're kind of like going, I don't know if um, uh, my Sagi has already detached themselves from this relationship. I don't know if they're already kind of like walking away. And let me tell you, if you are in this energy here, Sagittarius energy, and you're kind of like going, I don't know if this is for me anymore. I might decide to walk away from this or I feel like I'm already detaching from this relationship whoever the cross watcher is yeah you need to be extremely careful with Sagittarius um you know they're the most sometimes the people who uh find it the hardest to get committed into a relationship when they do it's like basically for a lifetime but if they ever decide to walk away from a connection it's it's Sometimes they're hard to fix it again. It's because when they walk away, they kind of walk away forever. Um, I don't know if you guys out there, Sagis, um, not everybody will agree, but I think a lot of you guys know when the heart switches off, it's off. You know what I mean? So be very careful. And I think if you are feeling this cross watcher, it's this moon energy. But Sagi, um, your person can maybe feel that you are wanting to walk away. If this is reversed energy and then this is you feeling your person wanting to walk away. So because I feel like for a lot of you, this is kind of like, but it can be either which way. Let's have a look at the joint connection of this relationship. Well, guys, two eights have just come up here. You got an eight of um, swords and an eight of pentacles energy. Um, let me tell you something. This can be worked on. Let me just move this light a bit back so it doesn't shine so bright on the cards. Um, this can be worked on. It can be worked on. One of the things you must know, eight of swords tells me there has been some kind of, it's been a stuck kind of energy. So this relationship is almost like it was stuck. It didn't get, didn't move forward. There's been restrictions. This is what can make, if it's you that's walking away or whomever is walking away, make that person walk or want to leave the connection because it hasn't been going anywhere. It's kind of like stuck. It's kind of like controlling. There's no movement. There's no growth. But it does show you it is. it can be lifted here. There is a hope here because this can be lifted. And um, with hard work, there's the thing. Um, there is a hope here in this relationship. I'm just saying with the Eight of Pentacles being there with that card, it shows that this relationship can be fixed. And it also shows that it can only be fixed though with a lot of hard work from the both of you. 
So, whoa. Let's get some spirit guide advice with the Moonology deck for you guys moving forward. It depends though. I mean, um, the answers you need are coming. Wow. It depends though what the person who's walking away is feeling. Um, because if, look at this, the two cards. I'm just taking cards from the bottom of the deck. I just got the vibe just to pull cards at the bottom of the deck. And these came out. So, um... I feel like you're going to know what to do. If it is you that's walking away or you thinking that somebody might walk away, um, you're going to know exactly what to do because you've got the full moon in Gemini energy, which is basically all about communication. Gemini energy is it's the, it's, the, the, it's the sign that can communicate amazingly. And you're going to get some kind of information that comes in. I feel the answers you need are coming. You're going to know exactly which direction this relationship is going in, going in very, very shortly. Um, I honestly feel like it might be some good news, i got to tell you, because of the card that I pulled out, the second card I pulled out, which is disseminating moon it's almost like a pause energy i feel like there's going to be a moment here or possibly even there's going to be a bit of a pause before you even get to know what to do there's going to be a bit of a moment maybe a couple of days or even a week or so where you kind of keep on going i don't know if i'm literally coming or going here in this relationship and in a moment i feel like use that that's why it says, you know, take a time to breathe out because you're going to have to be patient before you get the information that you get. Um, and then you will know exactly what to do. For others of you, I feel like you're going to hear about what it is you, you're going to hear. You're going to get information. You're going to be able to find out, okay, so this is what's happening in this connection. And then I feel like, honestly, if that's the case, it's going to be good news. Because of the Eight of Swords that has come up here and the Eight of Cups, I feel like this is what's going to allow you to kind of like breathe out. It's almost like, okay, all right, we're good. We're good. Let me just go, whew, you know, it's almost like a, like a sigh of relief kind of energy. So I do feel like you guys, um, for a lot of you guys, it will have a positive vibe coming through here because it's leaning through with the center energies of these two cards that this can be worked through. But um, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming into the reading. If it resonates with you, please hit that thumbs up button. It does help my videos. And even subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know mm -mm, my voice is going funny. Um, when tomorrow's readings come out. But thank you for watching, Saji. Bye.